Hello guys, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to write C++ add-ons for Node.js. This will allow us to basically write some C++ code and then call that C++ code from our JavaScript in our Node project. So Node.js add-ons are dynamically linked shared objects written in C++ that can be loaded into Node.js using the require function and used just as if they were an ordinary Node.js module, right? So before we get started here, we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder and type npm init just to initialize a new node, node project. The name can be pc addon or whatever you choose. Version one, description no, entry point, we can change that to main.js and the rest we can leave as is. Yes, that's all right. So once that's done, we can go ahead and create our main.js file like that. Now there's a couple of things we're going to need to install here to be able to compile our C++ module. We're going to use something called node jip. So we ahead and type npm install ng for global. Uh, node chip so jip stands for generate your project i ha already have this installed so i'm not going to install it but go ahead and type this and hit enter to install it then if you're on windows you're also going to need to open up powershell uh, as an administrator and you're gonna install uh, windows build tools all right so npm install global or g for global uh, production windows build tools all right you're also gonna have to install python on your machine if you don't have uh, python installed already all right so once you get all that installed we're gonna go ahead and create a new file we're gonna name this binding.jip and in here we're gonna keep some settings for a jip file i'm gonna go ahead and copy a file uh, i've already written so we get the targets here which is an array of uh, an object with target name and sources the target name is going to be the name of our c++ add-on and source this is going to be the c++ files we're going to pass to the add-on so we're going to name this uh, add-on calculate and the source is going to be calculate.cc uh, all right so once that's done we can go ahead and create the c file so cal calculate.cc and we're going to go ahead and include uh, the node header. We're also going to create a namespace here. Let's call this calculate. Just to scope all the variables we're going to be using. And we're going to define a couple of uses here. Uh, here. Uh, so we're going to use v8 function callback info, uh, v8 isolate. local object uh, number and we're also gonna need value so let's define them right here as using instead of writing all of this stuff in our code then we're gonna go ahead and create Let's just see that we got the function callback as isolate local. We got object. We have number. We have value. Yeah, good. Then let's go ahead and create uh, the main method. We can call this method data type of void. We're gonna pass in function callback info value, and then say and args. We're also gonna need to initialize this method. So node knows. To use it to do that we use something called initialized initialize we can name this whatever we want but 
let me pass local object and uh, exports we say node set method so this is just to uh, let's call it calc this is just to be able to call uh, the actual method from JavaScript All right so we need to uh, use this node set method we also need to call this initialize by using node module node jip module name and then initialize all right so this is just stuff that nodes node needs enabled to uh, initialize or add on so we can use it in javascript now for the actual method here is where we're going to write the code that matters uh, for this example we're going to write a simple for loop uh, that's quite long so we can time it and just add x to y so a number to another so let's create isolate here which is a pointer to let's call it isolate and then we can say args dot get isolate we're gonna declare an int which we're gonna use in the for loop we're also gonna create a double x we can set it to our random value 100 dot couple of decimals doesn't matter and also double of y so 200 couple of random numbers like that so as you know in javascript we don't have to declare the data type uh, for variables which you need in c++ that's what we use in ints and doubles in javascript it would just be that i equals with zero for example without a data type declaration so let's create a for loop here so for i equals with zero i is smaller than let's say one one billion and then increment i plus plus so just a simple for loop here which will increment one billion times and for each increment let's assign y to x or append y to x all right we're gonna create a auto data type let's call this variable total and it's going to be a number which we defined up here so v8 number uh, new and we're going to have to pass in the isolate and then x so this is going to be the total of x and then args.get return value and we're going to use a method called set and we're gonna set the total so this is to send back total so the value of x uh, to our javascript to node so we're gonna be able to access the actual value as well all right so that should be it let's see if everything works so now we're gonna need to configure jeep first so let's say no jeep configure And then once it's configured, we're gonna say no jib build. And we got an error. Uh, no set method. None of the two others could convert all the argument types. All right, let's see here. Seem to be missing something. So we got the initialized here local object. We got exports. No set method. Calling the exports. Calling this calc. And we call it method, which is a void. Oh, there we got the problem. It's supposed to be uppercase for v in value. Let's try again. No jip build. And yeah, now everything works. So it was just a simple typo there for me. All right. So now once we've built this, we can go into build, release, and open up calculator node. So here you can see the actual code you've written in machine code. All right. So let's go ahead and try to include this in our main. So we're gonna say const 
calculate, which is gonna be the module we just created, and it's inside build slash list slash calculate. So let's just see what happens if we do a console log calculate and call the method we just created on it, which is called cut calc. So yeah, we're getting the actual value here. Good. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a console console time. Let's call this C plus plus and console dot time end. So we're gonna time how long it takes to do the calculate method or the calc method inside C++. Uh, we're also gonna rewrite this for JavaScript so we can compare them. Uh, it should go real fast. So for JavaScript that would be, let's see, uh, let's call it function calc. So we got let i, we also got x, which is gonna be the same as this. So let's copy this x value. And we got y, which is gonna be same as this y value. So we're just gonna take this C++ code and convert it to JavaScript real fast. Right, so we got i, x, and y. So let's create a for loop. So i equals with zero. i is smaller than one. Uh, billion i plus plus and append y to x so x x equal equals with x plus y and total total is gonna be x and we're gonna return total so let's just see that the javascript function works by console.logging the value yup alright so now we can copy this for C++ take the calc method and put it in this second timer here let's call this js for javascript all right, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to time how long it takes for C++ and then how long it takes for JavaScript. So let's do node main. And now you can guess which is going to be faster. What do you think is going to be C++ or JavaScript? Let's take a look. So JavaScript is actually faster, as we can see. This kind of variance, it's a little different each time you do it. But in many cases, uh, JavaScript is actually faster. Uh, you can see here, uh, 1,014 milliseconds and 1,014 milliseconds. In our first example, C++ was uh, 1,015, JavaScript was 1,014. So as you can see, JavaScript is basically as fast as C++ in doing uh, this calculation uh, 1 billion times. And all numbers in JavaScript, as far as I know, are 64-bit floating point doubles. And doubles is what we're using in the C++ file. So uh, uh, if anyone knows how this is possible, you <laughs> please tell me because um, they are really as fast JavaScript as C++ but yeah that's how you um, create a simple C++ add-on uh, of course you can do other things than uh, comparing uh, performance for languages but uh, that's how you um, create C++ add-on in Node so thank you bye bye